It was a day that shocked the world and left 77 dead. Many of them children and young adults in Norway's worst collective loss of life since the Second World War. It began when right-wing terrorist Anders Breivik planted a car bomb in the very heart of Oslo's government quarter, next to the Prime Minister's office, killing eight and injuring hundreds of others. The killer then travelled to a tiny island called Utøya that was hosting a summer camp for the youth division of Norway's Labour Party. Dressed in a police uniform, Breivik took a ferry to the island before opening fire indiscriminately. Many tried to swim to safety and were shot in the water. 69 were killed before police reached the island over an hour later. Survivors hid in caves around the rocky shoreline or, in the case of Sam Muizi, in a tree. Did you hear him say anything? Yeah, he was saying, if I said, this is police, you're safe. That's, what, that's the trick he was using. So every time people used to run to him as police who had not seen him before, he shoots them. That's the trick he used. Ten years on, we got back in contact with Sam, now one of Uganda's leading lawyers. I began by asking him for his reflections on the day. When I remember the 15 and so, young people I saw being murdered. When I reflect on their bodies lying on top of the water, and I reflect on what had taken me to Utoya, to speak about an all-inclusive society, I went to Utoya to speak against racism in this world. And I went to speak about rights that were being trampled upon in Uganda for expressing political views. You are a criminal in Uganda. And those kids that were killed, it was the same fight. It was the same message. They were engaging in politics to fight for an all-inclusive society, a multicultural society, but that they were attacked and killed for that cause. It gives me the more impetus to continue for fighting for the same thing that they died for. Otherwise, they will have died in vain. Has it changed your life? Well, uh, it actually made me uh, feel that uh, very differently. Since then, I think I'm a different person. I thought about life differently since that date, and uh, it has guided my life since, uh, since then. I, I, I actually know, know better how precious uh, life is by the day. And since then, I now have a family. I'm a family man, and I'm, I'm, I'm practicing my law and politics together, and I'm proud. And thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to the world about uh, the aftermath of this rather bad incident of July 22nd, 2011. Sam Muizi, thank you very much indeed for talking to us. Thank you. It's a pleasure.